everybody, it's Charles, and today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked all the time, and it's how do I always keep a positive outlook in life? So here are my top tips on keeping a positive mindset. Tip number one, gratitude. If you look at the most happiest people in the world, they're always so grateful for where they are in their lives and also where they came from. And what really shifted my perspective is traveling. When I traveled at the age of 21, I went to India and I got to meet the Dalai Lama and I got to see how the Indian people lived. And I mean, India is one of the poorest countries in the world. But they had so little, yet they were so happy because they're so genuine and they really knew what was important in life, like the relationships, the love, and just the little things in life, the beauty of nature. Tip number two is affirmations. Oh my gosh, this is such a huge key to my happiness personally. An affirmation that I really, really like that I use all the time when I have negative patterns or thoughts that don't serve me is only love is real. I say that over and over again, only love is real, or I am love, I am love, and yes you can, yes you can. You know that negative self-talk that always wants to come out and say, no you can't do that, who do you think you are? Whatever, beat that and challenge that negative thought and challenge it with I am love, yes I can. And find something that you love. I have wall of inspiration that I look at every single morning so I get these thoughts into my head and just fill my mind with positive and uplifting thoughts that's gonna raise myself to my high potential. Tip number three is exercise. Oh my gosh. I mean, this is such a simple task, yet it does so much to your body. It's not only healthy for you, it actually helps create endorphins that are the feel-good chemicals. Get your blood flowing and to all the right places to so your brain and, and increase serotonin and just make you feel good. You know that runner's high that people get after they do a long run or just like a, even like a nice jog? They feel so relieved, less stressed, and they just feel relaxed. Tip number four, eat healthy. Oh my gosh, if you guys follow me, you guys know I'm a huge advocate about eating healthy because I know how the mind and body is all correlated and the food that we put into our body really reflects on our overall well-being and happiness. And I know for you know from experience that when you put nourishing, high vibrational foods into your body, you're more capable to function at an optimal level and you feel like amazing. You have so much more energy. If you're sick and lethargic all the time, how can you be a value to other people? How can you raise other people up? How can you uh, do things that you're passionate about when you're always tired and sick? So think about what you're putting into your diet and it, well, maybe start with just a green smoothie first thing in the morning. Get that into your diet. Eat more fruits and vegetables and see how you feel. Number five, helping other people. This is so important to feeling happy because we all as human beings want to feel connected and we want to feel like we belong and we want to help other people and we, we live in this earth, this amazing, amazing place that we can be of service towards other people. A lot of people think that, oh, I'm not going to help other people until I'm taken care of. But you have to think of the mentality where when you're giving, you're receiving. And if you sign up at a volunteer center and give yourself, give some time and help other people, you feel amazing about yourself. This helps build your self-confidence and also makes you feel so good that you can do something to help other people and put a smile on other people's faces and if you can't help other people just smile at people smile and say something nice towards other people just say hey you look very nice today or hey um, how are you doing asking people just talking that's helping other people there's so many things that we can do to help other people and it helps raise our own happiness tip number six music Oh my gosh, I freaking love music. Music raises the vibrational frequencies of your whole being. It's like music is such an amazing tool, also such an amazing art that I, I love it so much. Anytime I'm having a bad day, I turn up a really, really amazing song and I start dancing. Music therapy plus dance equals amazing bliss, ecstatic happiness. Try it, <laughs> I challenge you. Tip number seven is reading, expanding our awareness, expanding our limits of what's possible, reading about other people's journeys because whatever you're trying to do, somebody probably has already done it. So why not follow their footsteps or get some insight about their experiences? If you enjoyed this video, please like, 
the video below. And also, my question of the day is, what are you grateful for? If you leave a comment below, you enter to win a free consultation of my Empowered Life Coaching. This is via Skype or if you're in LA, in person. I'm helping people reclaim their power and to live the best life ever. So if you want to find out more about this consultation, you can go to my website, go to services, and find out all the details there. Lots of love to you guys all. I love you, and I hope you're living the most empowered life ever. Cheers, Charles.